Can you do an impression of Mr. Leatherman? <laughs> Mr. Letterman? Leatherman. Leatherman. The man who founded Movie Phone. Oh, Mr. Leatherman. There we go. Oh, I didn't know who Mr. Leatherman was. That's him. Can you answer this question in that voice for me? Of course. What is the name of the film that you're about to star in and when does it open? When in Rome, January 29th. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Josh Demel, and I'm here with Kristen Bell. We're going to talk about. I'm sorry. I'm We're going to talk about our movie When in Rome, coming out January 29th. We're going to ask each other some of your questions, and I'm going to ask her some of my own questions. All right, Rashad in Atlanta. If you had to describe working with Josh in one word, what would it be? Difficult. No. One word. No, that's my word. No. <laughs> no? Okay. No. There are too many words to describe you. <laughs> Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to give you the dirt on Mr. Josh Jumel uh, Rashad, he's extremely polite. He's almost as cute in person as he is on television. He smells pretty decent, and uh, he's not as dumb as he looks. Thank you. This one really knows how to turn it on when the camera's on. Because she doesn't treat me like that when we're not, no, when we're not doing press for the movie. they treat very poorly. I don't want to fill yeah. his ego with nonsense. Yeah. All right. I would like to know uh, how you liked working with me in one word. What was it like working with Kristen Bell? Kristen Bell from Los Angeles wants to know. Uh, I'd have to say... Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I thought you were going to... How did you know I was going to say that? That's very nice of you. I was trying to think of a one-word answer that would encompass everything that is Kristen Bell. And I, I thought you were going to say perverted. <laughs> Danielle in Fort Myers, Florida would like to know, would you ever consider returning to TV? And what kind of a show would you like to do? A crime fighting show, obviously, Danielle, because that's what I do in my downtime. I fight as much crime as humanly possible. Um, I would absolutely return to TV. Well, you've already, you're still on TV, aren't you? Aren't you still on Heroes? No, Josh. You're not still on Heroes? Not for like two years. Shut up. Yeah. Really? Yes. Wait okay. a second. But you are the voice on Gossip Girl. I know that much. I... So you are still sort of on TV. Guilty. Are you, are you pulling my leg? You're not on Heroes no, anymore? No, I'm not on Heroes. Anyway. Um, Ruthie in Brisbane, Australia wants to know, which place in your everyday life would you describe as the most romantic? Um, Can't say the toilet. No, that's just, I find the most relief there. Right. <laughs> but I would say we have a little, we built a little fire pit at our house. Oh, cute. Where we sit out, have a glass of wine, listen to music and... and commune uh, with nature. That's just lovely. Just commune with nature. I'm, we just become one with nature. I like outside fire pits. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Hmm. Should tell Dax to build one. He didn't know how to build a fire pit. <laughs> Who do you like better, Jason Bateman or Vince Vaughn? <gasps> how dare you, sir? Hmm, I don't like either of them. <laughs> Truth be told. I love them both. Um, man, that's a hard question. I'm gonna stick with I don't like either of them. All right, all right, fair. That's a good, that's a good diplomatic answer. Um, well, do you have anything that you want to ask me? Oh yeah, Kristen, I got a, I got a question. For, or actually, Caroline from Rochester, New York has a question for you. If you could have any three guys fighting over you in real life, who would they be? Oh, wow, Caroline. Three guys. First of all, clean it up. <laughs> Second of all, um, uh, Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. Um, Two is what? <laughs> Uh, David Sedaris. Three. Martin Sexton. Martin Sexton. Martin Sexton there you go. for the artistic interpretation in his music. David Sedaris to make me laugh. And Barack Obama because he's President he's Barack just Obama. The man. Did you like getting hit by a car in the movie? Why on earth they ever let me do that? I still don't know. I think that we thought that it was going to be much tamer than it ended up being. Mm -hmm. I ended up flying completely over the car the first couple times. Literally landed on my head, they almost stopped the whatever. 
It explains a lot, but... It does, but they let me finish and try... I convinced them to let me go one more time, and when we did, I broke in the windshield. You broke the windshield. What did it feel like to break a windshield? Um, I don't even remember. I was so drunk. <laughs> All right, let me ask you a question there, little miss. Uh, what's with the nails? These nails? Yes. Um, these are foils. They're kind of like stickers for your fingers. Oh, they stay okay. on the length of a regular manicure. They just look pretty fierce. Okay, and they're not paint. They're actually little stickers. No, they're actually little them? stickers. Yeah. It's a little rock and roll. I like it that. Is, I like yeah. that. I like to let people know right off the bat that I'm hardcore. Okay. You know. Okay. It's kind of how I. I roll. think people already know that. I hope so. Go ahead. You're up. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, thanks to Movie Phone and for watching and sending in your questions. Please check out our new film, When in Rome. Kristen Bell, everybody. Kristen Bell. Josh Jamel, everyone. Uh, okay, we're gonna ask, I'm gonna ask her some of the, your questions and then I'm gonna ask her, oh, let me start this again. <laughs> oh, it was so good!